Hi, my name is Victor, and I will show you how to quickly get started with the Inspector from SICK. The Inspector is a vision sensor capable of locating and inspecting different objects. It's both powerful and, as you will see, easy to work with. I have an Inspector i40 hooked up right here, so let me show you how to configure it. The software we'll be working with is called SOPAS, and today we'll use the single device version. When SOPAS has started up, the Inspector i40 shows up under Available Devices and we let the software connect to it automatically. Alright, once we have everything set up, we'll see the main view in the SOPAS engineering tool. I'm going to hide some help elements for now and also adjust the windows a little so we can see everything. Now, to the left there's a live image from the camera, and to the right we have a menu with a list of panels. These panels contain information and settings for the tools we'll be working with. So, the first thing we have to do is add a reference object to the camera. To do this, we click the Add button right here. And as we can see, the camera automatically adjusts exposure and gain for us. Focus has to be manually adjusted on the hardware by turning the working distance screw on the inspector with an Allen wrench. Once our image looks alright, we click the Teach Reference Object button. When we do this, we get a reference image to work with. We use this image to tell the inspector what to do. We also get an object locator. The object locator is used to find objects in the picture, and we tell it what to look for by adjusting this blue box. The green areas in the image are features that the object locator detects. Let's say we want the locator to find this playing card. We also want to exclude the inner details from the card, and to do that we use a mask to cover the areas that we're not interested in. Now, when the object locator only looks for the card's outer shape, let's try it out in the live image. If we move the card around, the object locator follows. We can switch the card, and as long as it has the right shape, the locator will find it. If we try a card with the wrong size, like this, the locator does not find the match. To examine certain parts of a located object, we can add detailed inspections. Let's say we want to know whether we have the Queen of Hearts in the image or not. To do this, we can use a detailed inspection called Pattern. It matches the pixels in the selected area in the live image with the corresponding pixels in the reference image and tells us if the match is good enough. We'll adjust the tolerance to set the threshold for pass or fail for the inspection, and then we'll go back to the live image again. The green color indicates that the inspection passed. If we change the card to something that's not the Queen of Hearts, like the Queen of Spades, the inspection fails and turns red. To get a summary of our inspections, we'll open the Results tab in the right-hand menu. Here we see the details of the object locator and each individual inspection. We can also see the state of the inspector's three digital outputs. These outputs are ready to use straight out of the box. Right below the live image, we can see the frame rate that we are guaranteed to get when running the application. Now we're finished with the setup of our small application and are ready to switch from edit mode to run mode to let the camera start working. When we do this, we are asked to save the settings to the camera's flash memory so it will remember our setup even if we disconnect it from the PC. So, now you have seen that it only took a couple of minutes to get a small application up and running, and you can start configuring the inspector to fit your own applications. That's all for now, so thank you for watching. The inspector features high-speed quality control and positioning, a powerful object locator, and it's easy to use. For more information, visit www.sick.com.